And joining me for Pet Corner is pet doctors Michelle Delahunty to tell us more about the importance of healthy weight management for our pets. Good morning to you. Good morning. Now, are there many pets overweight that you see in your clinic? Is it a common thing? Yeah, it is actually. About 60% of the pets that come in to see us are actually overweight, so it's probably one of the more common issues that we see. Wow, 60%? Yeah. That seems yeah. quite high. Mind you, I'm thinking about my pets, at least one of them is <laughs> a bit, bit of a tubster. So what if you think maybe your pet is just a bit cuddly and it's not really a concern? Well, it is a bit of a concern because there are some health issues associated with being overweight. So when you bring your pet in to see us in the clinic, we're checking for a few things. So we're looking at what their weight is, we're doing a physical exam, so we're sort of looking at how much coverage they have over their ribs, do they have a visible waistline, is their head in proportion to their body. Um, those things let us know what percentage overweight they might be and then from there what their ideal weight should be. You can work out what they should be. So what problems does being overweight cause? So there's a few health issues associated with being overweight. So diabetes, particularly in cats, um, you've got joint problems, heart problems, kidney problems, and some of these diseases can actually be quite painful for our pets, and not to mention costly to treat or manage. Yeah, and we don't want either of those things actually. Yeah. So how can we keep our pets healthy? So just like us, a balanced diet and exercise is really important. So you want to feed them a good quality premium pet foods um, at the right amount for the right life stage. And also obviously the exercise isn't just great for maintaining their weight or weight loss, but good for their well-being as well. Yeah, this is interesting because I've got a kitten who is always about five months old now and he is a bit of a tub star, but he seems, doesn't seem to eat too much. He's always hungry and he seems to be doing lots of running around, but why would he be getting a bit fat? In nature, and normally with cats, they would actually spend about eight hours of the day actually out hunting for their food. Okay, so he's not doing that. Yeah, exactly. So, yeah, they actually spend a lot of calories just to get there. So buy more toys and make them run around the house a bit more. Get them more active, yeah. Okay. So how can we help pets who are overweight get down to a healthy weight um, and not make them feel like they're starving because they do treat you like you're actually starving them, don't they? They do, yeah. yeah. <laughs> they're really good, good at it too. They're really good at yeah. it, yeah. <laughs> so um, there is prescription foods so like Royal Canon Satiety. Um, this food is particularly good because it is high protein, it's high fibre, so it keeps them feeling fuller for longer and that can help with the begging that you get with cats, particularly, or dogs who are on the diet. Yes. So, yeah, okay. that. So and get we get some really good results on this food as well. So, and it makes them feel full as well, which is obviously ideal. Yeah. What about treats? So the issue with treats is uh, we may think we're just giving them a piece of cheese or a biscuit, but they can actually sometimes equate to us eating a cheeseburger. So for some of our small pets, that's, that's quite a big thing if they're getting that on a daily basis. Um, and treats are often just extra calories on top of their daily requirements. Right, but what if you're trying to train them when you're using treats as well, just get things that are a bit better for them? Yeah, so you can do that. Um, you can take out of their daily requirements that food for their treats for training, um, or if you are using something above and beyond what you would normally feed them, take a little bit of their normal food out of their daily okay, requirements. Okay, that's really good advice. What about slowing them down when they eat? Because um, sometimes, particularly dogs, they can yeah. seem to just inhale it. Yeah, they do, yeah. So it is a bit of a problem. Um, so there's some really neat options out there that can help slow our pets down when eating. So for cats, there's the no bowl feeding system. So that's where you stash their food in either mice or something of that form around the house. They've actually got to go out and look Obviously for not, it. Obviously not a real one, mouse, a fake Not a real mouse, mouse a fake <laughs> mouse, yeah, <laughs> or something similar. Yeah. So they've actually got to go out and look for their food through the day. So it's a little bit more mimicking their sort of natural habits. Oh, okay. Not just going from the couch to their bowl. Um, and you can get activity feeders and puzzle feeders, treat balls. Um, oh, right. So these don't just slow them down. It helps them to sort of mental stimulation and enrichment right. as well. So it helps with boredom. So this is the one time when it's actually good for somebody to play with their food. Exactly. Um, exercise. Is there a dog cat gym? I mean, how do we get them to exercise? So obviously daily walking for dogs or running is the best thing for them um, and again not great, not just great for uh, their weight control but again that mental enrichment and stimulation. And for cats again the no bowl feeding system is great. Um, again in nature they'd be spending about eight hours of the day out looking for their food yeah. um, so that helps to mimic that. And 
the cat wands and things are really great for getting the cats moving as well. Okay, now tell us about this activity pack as well. Yeah, so um, if you come into one of our pet doctor's clinics nationwide and see one of our amazing nurses or vets for a weight check, um, you'll get a cool little Royal Cannon activity pack. So there's things in there to help keep your cats and your dogs active. Um, and there is a discount voucher in there for 25% off any of your weight management foods with Royal Cannon. Excellent, thank you so much. No I've learned a little bit about my animals there too. <laughs> now if you think your pet may be slightly chubby around the edges, uh, make an appointment to see your local pet doctor's vet for a weight check. Now you will receive, as just mentioned, a Royal Cannon activity pack at your appointment, plus a voucher for 25% off Royal Cannon weight management diets while stocks last. So get in quick.